What's up Capricorn? It's your girl Sid from Savvy Sentian and welcome to your May 2022 general reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you all are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not, welcome back. If you all are looking for personal readings, my May books are open and all the information you need will be linked in the description box below. Also in that box, you will find all the cards used in this reading, all the information for Patreon and channel memberships, as well as a link to my Spiritual Safe Place group on Facebook where you can explore your spirituality safely, okay? So let's go ahead and get into you all's reading. <clears throat> You all may notice that these readings are just slightly longer um, moving forward, just because I am now, um, well, I've always been uh, trying to be intentional, but I really just want to make sure you all get the fullest messages you can. So I will be channeling and I will be uh, taking my time with these readings. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, Capricorn. What is the overall energy of this reading for Capricorn Spirit? Coming right out, we have the star. So the star is a card of recognition. It is a card of hope and healing, literally wishing upon a star or that you are actually, um, you know, the star. All right. So let's see what this is in reference to. Nine cards, please, Spirit. Let's see the devil as I shuffle the cards. So that could be highlighting that you are indeed the star here. Um, we have the four of cups coming out uh, in the reverse. So this could be that you feel like you missed an opportunity somewhere. Knight of cups. Uh, this could be a love offer. Someone coming towards you or you um, coming towards someone. But with that four of cups energy, it could be that you feel like you missed out on a love opportunity. Six of Pentacles and I'm sorry, six of wands in the reverse can represent a lack of success, a lack of recognition. Um, feeling like maybe you failed to recognize an opportunity or someone failed to recognize you as a great opportunity. Um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles energy here as well. So, you know, financial security, security in a relationship, some type of loyalty. Um, Comfort. Four of Wands in the reverse. What's up with all these reverses? So um, the Four of Wands in the reverse is about homecoming. Um, however, in the reverse, perhaps not coming home, no reunion. Um, maybe someone who feels like home is at a distance from you or that things within your home are just shaken up within your family are shaken up right now. Two cards coming out. The Five of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yeah, it may have been some conflict happening within your home, um, causing some type of stagnation. Page of Wands. All right, new ideas, uh, exploration inspiration, planning towards new ideas, messages of opportunities coming for you, emperor and the queen of cups. Okay, so um, just because this is masculine and feminine energy, this could be that uh, you're inspired towards a new connection. This could also be that um, this new opportunity that is being offered to you is putting you in a position of authority. And this could be in reference to something creative or something that you hold dear to your heart, something that makes you feel fulfilled. And what is the last card, Spirit? We have both of the cards in the reverse, the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot, both in the reverse. So the Knight of Cups, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles energy is a very slow, deliberate, uh, deliberate energy, a uh, very Capricornian, <laughs> um, really thoughtful as you take certain steps. 
And the cherry energy is your will and your determination, your drive to get these things done. Both of these are in the reverse, though. So <clears throat> it could feel like you are losing your will towards certain things that you are working on. Um, it's really weird how this is coming out um, in your reading because it looks like it starts off as you feeling like you missed out on an opportunity or failing to recognize or be recognized as someone um, that an opportunity should be given to. And then it looks like your comfort, your stability is being disrupted. Something within your home life is being disrupted. There's conflict and there's a lack of movement within your home. And then it looks like we have um, some type of idea, some type of a spark, some type of motivation could be towards a new business, towards something that you um, really love to do that makes you feel good. And then there's a lack of stagnation. I mean, there's a lack of movement with the Knight of Pentacles and the Chariot in the reverse. So it looks like a lot of starting and stopping, a lot of um, <laughs> discombobulation. Let's clarify. And, and I, I, I feel like this star energy is here because... Yes, you do have some things that you wish to accomplish that you hope to accomplish, but I feel that you want to be recognized in a certain way and that also there's a lot within your life right now that requires some type of attention and healing, okay? So let's see what this missed opportunity is with the Four of Cups, Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, clarify. Is this a relationship? Because we have the Queen of Wands showing up. So you're feeling like you missed an opportunity with someone you're very passionate about. And the star card comes out again. This could also be, you know, about your job. Feeling like, again, you missed an opportunity. You um, failed to be recognized when you felt like you should have been. You didn't receive your accolades for something that you've accomplished. Career-wise, you might have been uh, making great strides, making great um, progress. Like if you're a part of a company, really helping your company and it feels like uh, the powers that be are not recognizing your efforts and your contributions. For some of you all, you are literally, um, you were passed over for like some type of promotion or something like that. Yeah, for some some of you were passed over for some type of promotion. <clears throat> it feels like whatever this is, whatever this was, it was meant to bring you more money, more comfort in your life. Three of Wands expansion in your life, clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. Because as it stands right now, your house is in conflict. It could be that you are like struggling to pay bills. You are um, at a loss for ideas as far as maintaining your household, making sure that everyone has everything that they need, that you um, are able to provide for not just yourself, but whoever else lives with you. So failing to get this promotion or failing to be um, given an opportunity in spite of how much you've poured into something and how much you give to something, um, really just has you at a loss, just really has you stuck. So you're like, what What now then? What now then? Clarify the four. Yeah. So now, clarifying your home situation, the four of wands, the five of wands, the uh, two of swords where you're feeling like, what do I do now that this uh, expansion, this opportunity that should have been mine wasn't. Uh, we have the four of pentacles and the king of pentacles. So now you're like an extreme saving mode. You're like, they didn't give me the raise. They didn't, you know, they looked over me. So now I'm just penny pinching. I'm just going to save all the money I can. And I'm going to try to be more uh, strategic in the way that I spend and how I invest my money moving forward. And I feel like from that energy comes 
this spark, this idea, okay? Um, where you're like, you know what? Okay, so my job didn't give me whatever promotion or whatever they should have given me, but um, I'm a Capricorn. <laughs> I'm a boss energy. Like, I'm all about these coins. So I can start my own business. So there may be something, even if it's not necessarily a business, it may be something else, like something that you're passionate about that does bring in some type of income or has the potential to bring in some type of income. However, it feels like though the idea is here, you're like, but how do I go about it? How do I go about it? And with the chariot in the reverse, it's like, Maybe because you don't have the knowledge of how to create this thing, um, you kind of feel like maybe you overshot your ambition. Um, I want to say no. <laughs> I want to say don't have that mindset. Don't think like that. This idea came to you. This inspiration came to you for a reason. So don't doubt um, what you're capable of just because you may not have the knowledge of something right now. Okay, um, page of wands, emperor, and queen. Let's clarify what this thing is that you've been inspired to do. Hmm. Okay, so I feel like it's something that you do like, something that you um, have a love for, but I feel like you don't have a mastery of. We have the uh, king of wands in the reverse with the ten of pentacles. Um, it could be something that is a part of your family lineage that, that you never really had a great interest in, but it is something that you feel would make you content, that would make you happy to do. So it could be, I don't know, like maybe your family has always woven baskets or something like that. And maybe you've woven a basket or two and you understand like it's very peaceful, you enjoy it or whatever, but it's just not, it just was never your ministry. But now that this opportunity has seemed to pass you by you're redirecting your attention towards maybe i do maybe i can make some baskets um, i'm not great at it but maybe i just need a little bit more practice and you know this is a family legacy this is something that we've always done so let me ask my aunt let me ask my mom let's, let me ask my cousin <laughs> um to you know sit with me and make some baskets so i can get better at this um Maybe what you're failing to have knowledge of is like marketing and how to get whatever this is seen, all right? Um, don't let a lack of knowledge, and this is coming from a Gemini, Mercury ruled, okay? Don't ever let a, a lack of knowledge or um, a lack of experience prevent you. There is a book for everything. There is a website for everything. There is a class for everything. Their, their knowledge is abundant in this world, Capricorn. There's always something to learn. There's always someone or some resource to teach you, okay? Um, Skillshare. This is not a, um, a sponsored video by Skillshare, but it could be. Skillshare, reach out to you, girl. Um <laughs> But like something like Skillshare, where there are several people who have these talents who want to share them with other people, okay? So don't be limited by what you don't know or what you don't have um, access to or experience in. Just go get that shit. <laughs> Just go get that. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles with the Chariot. Yeah. Two of Wands, it's time to make some choices and some decisions, okay? If you're stagnated, what you gonna do about it? Make a choice, bottom of the deck. Well, the fortune, mm, yeah. So make a choice, and it's always advisable to take the road less traveled to make the choice that maybe you wouldn't typically make, the one that is not the safe choice, okay? Because taking that road is going to lead you to your will of fortune, to your change, to some shifts, um, in your situation. So let's go ahead and get some monology messages. Monology, what messages do you have for Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn. Mm. 
Okay. So we got two Aries cards as your moonology messages, as well as the Emperor showing up in your spread, which is Aries energy. We have just left Aries season, crept on up out of that guy. Um, but I feel like maybe some of that uh, residual Aries energy is still present for you to tap into because we do have a fiery climax approaches. All right. I'm not sure who or, or what this is about. Um, this could be with your job. This could be the frustration of putting in all of that effort for however many years um, and, and constantly being overlooked and constantly being overshadowed. Um, and that could lead to some type of explosion. Um, hopefully, you're not going to be with, with your boss. Hopefully, you will not make any rash decisions. But instead, let this uh, fire that this uh, passing over, if you will, has created, let that boil up into something more positive. Let that become like your motivation. Like, how many years am I going to keep working for people who don't appreciate me? I'm not going to pop off. I'm going to use that energy to create something that will, you know, benefit you in the long run. All right. It's time to take action. It's the new moon in Aries card. So now is the time. Now is the time, though. Now is the time. You have reached your breaking point, Capricorn. And now is the time to do something for yourself. We have the luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So whatever this is that you would like to em embark upon, this Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune, same energy, okay? Right under that is the Page of Pentacles. So start planning towards this new opportunity. Um, Capricorn, I don't know. It's just something about y'all that gives me entrepreneur anyway. Like, I don't feel like y'all are supposed to be, you are sons. Um, Y'all are not supposed to work for people. I just don't think that. Um, you all are too money-oriented. You all are too, uh, and not too in a bad way, but you all are so very um, focused on your stability and on your money. And you all, for the most part, I mean, I, it can't apply to everybody, but are very financially responsible. And so... Unfortunately, that doesn't necessarily always mesh with working for other people because other people don't care about your finances like you do. They don't care about um, the investments that you make to try to expand your um, your finances. They don't, I mean, these people probably lack the, the financial diversity that you all have. So why would they care? And you can't work for people like that. You can't you can't work for people that you're smarter than. <laughs> and you can't work for people who are not money savvy. Like y'all likely work for people who live check to check when y'all got mass savings and investments. Like, how's that gonna work? They'll never understand you. And guess what the first card? It says rebel because fuck it. They think you're going to keep on clocking in at this job because you're so reliable. Because you're always there when, when they need somebody, Capricorn. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> rebel. Do something different. Um, the next card says stop obsessing. You're not the fucking center of the universe. So for some of you all, yeah, you probably deserve that raise. You probably deserve that promotion. You probably deserve that opportunity that you were passed over for that you missed out on. But obsessing over it is not going to make it come back. It's time to move on to something better and understand that you the shit. You the you the shit. <laughs> okay. All right. You are capable of so much more than whatever it is that they could have offered you in the first place. So perhaps that's why you didn't get the opportunity. Because the universe was like, what? A $2 raise. My guy, your earning potential is 10 times that. So we need you to miss out on this opportunity. 
so that we can get you in line with what you actually deserve, okay? All right, so let's get your postcard from Spirit and your advice out. Okay, they just popping right on off. And what is the advice? Advice for Capricorn? Period. See that seven of swords trying to come out too. Judgment and the Empress in the reverse. Seven of Cups and the Five of Wands. It's time for you to uh, make a judgment call, okay? You see that the situation is not bearing any fruit, that you are no longer growing here, that there is no longer any abundance coming from here. The situation you're currently in has stagnated you. It is coming to a fiery climax, as the moonology stated. All right, it's the end of the road. It's the end of the road in this situation, okay, in this job. Um, it has spent its course. It's done its time. It has served its purpose, and it is time for you to move away from that. And it's time for you to see that there's nothing else here for you, okay, and make a judgment call. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups, which is about exploring your options with the Five of Wands brainstorming. Now that you see the situation for what it is, what other options do you have? What is your next move? What else can you do besides continuing to go back to this place and clocking in and clocking out for the bare minimum <laughs> on your check? Okay. So your postcard from Spirit says, Dearest you, sometimes it's wonderful to give, but there are times when you might find yourself overgiving. Now might be a good time to check in and see where you might be cutting off the flow of abundance. Let others get to you even if you are more comfortable being the giver, being the generous one, the healer, the rescuer. In the art of living, we sometimes overlook an important skill, receiving gracefully and with gratitude without diminishing yourself or trying to deny vulnerability or bringing an agenda of equality to it. Receiving is hard for some people to do, maybe you. You don't need a this for that in your exchange with others. You are doing good in the world. Let the world give back to you and support you. Then you can give up the old stories that you've convinced yourself uh, that everything, that you have to do everything alone and without help. Let your will be, let your will be filled. Uh, reading be hard. Okay. Um, <laughs> So as it pertains to this reading, the current situation that you're in is not filling your well. This message from spirit says that you need to let your well be, fit, be filled and that you need to become the receiver, all right? You are no longer receiving anything from this opportunity, this job, this space, could even be a relationship, this you know situation, whatever this is. You're no longer receiving anything from it. This situation is not fertile. You are not growing. There is no abundance coming in here. And so by continuing to engage or endure the situation, you are cutting off your flow of abundance because you're settling for less than. You deserve more than this, Capricorn. So if you would like abundance, there's going to have to be some changes made now i'm not telling anybody to go into y'all job on monday and be like i'm out this motherfucker <laughs> but what i am saying is explore your options as the advice says explore your options what can you do to remove yourself from this situation to make sure that your finances or your stability remains intact that you don't put yourself in a hole in a worse situation by trying to move out of the current situation too quickly. But um, definitely this situation has spent, it's, it's, it's spent, the time is, you know, passed for this situation, okay? So that is your message, Capricorn. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. If it resonated and you would like to donate to the channel, you can send a super thanks. Um, but all of that is appreciated, okay? Uh, make sure that um, you all have 
a wonderful May. And of course, until the next time I read for you all, I'm wishing you all love and light and everything right. And I will see you in